Okay, so the next part of the banking chapter is recurring deposit. Uh, all there is in this is just one formula. And uh, you're just going to have to learn to apply it. Um, there's not much of a variety in the questions you can ask. But basically, recurring deposit, it's, it's just a type of bank account where a person chooses a specific principal. It's normally not too big. It's just in a few hundred. Um, and that amount is deposited by the person every month. So instead of depositing like a few thousand all at once, it's given in certain installments. And uh, it's a fixed period. Every month it's given. So um, also, um, again, interest is given on this. So that is the main question that will be asked. OK. So I'm just going to tell you the formula first. Um, so firstly, there's the monthly installment, which is how much is paid every month. You could call this, uh, just name it X for now. Um, you can let the number of months be a uh, variable. So this is the formula to gain interest. Rate is of course R. So this is the formula over here. I interest is equal to X into N N plus one upon one two into R by 100 into 1 by 12. So it looks complicated, but once you start doing the sums, you'll just get it in your head. Uh, again, nothing too complicated over here. Usually, they'll give you just one variable to find. And, uh, in most cases, it's n, because you can see when you need to find n, you'll get a quadratic, you'll get n squared plus n. So that's probably what they'll ask you. Um, otherwise, the other important thing is that um, what the person gets at the end of the time period is not only the interest, but also what the person has deposited in, in the form of monthly deposits every month. So that value will be, it'll be uh, basically the monthly installment in the number of months so you could say x into n. Um, so all you need to remember is not only find the interest, but then also add the monthly installments into the number of months, because that is the amount, the total amount on maturity. Just going to do one quick sum on this, just so that you understand it fully. I'm just going to clear this first. So I'm just going to do a question from the 2009 ICRC paper. OK. Uh, I don't have a image of it, but I'm just going to read out. Mrs. Goswami deposits 1,000 every month. It's 1,000 rupees, of course, every month. I'm just going to write down. Um, in a recurring deposit account for three years at 8% interest per annum. So find the matured value, it's pretty straightforward here. Okay. Okay, so we've been given this information over here. Thousand every month, so just apply the formula here. X into N n plus 1 by 2 to r by 100 into 1 by 12 substituting you get 1000 into now n is not number of years it's months it's a mistake many people make uh, so just convert 3 years into months so you get 3 into 12 36 into 37 
um, you don't need to be scared about the big numbers because this will always cancel with this 12 over here. Um, 1, 2 into r which is 8 by 100 into 1 by 12. So just cancelling 12 and 36 are left with 3 here. Uh, you can cancel the 100 and this you get 10 here. Cancel this you get 5 here. So I think that's about it. Um, so you get all in all you get uh, 15 into 8 so 120 into 37. Um, 440 that's your interest and they ask for majority value so you add x into n which is n is 36 x is 1000 so 36000 and to this you add 4440 so the majority amount is 40440 so that's it in banking. It's a pretty easy chapter once you get the hang of it. Um, we're going to be back with, uh, I think, algebra tutorials after this.